Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking at Thomas Harold Jeske. He went missing in January of 1969 from Portland, Oregon. He was only 20 years old. 5'10", 180 pounds. It says he had blonde hair and blue eyes. He had a shaggy beard at the time of his disappearance. He wears eyeglasses with black frames. He was last seen in Portland, Oregon, January 13th, 1969. He's never been heard from again. His vehicle was found abandoned at Northeast 8th and Burnside after his disappearance. Few details are available in his case. So if you have any information, here's the phone number for the police department. Please give them any information you have. Even if you gave it to them years ago, because you have to realize that the information has gone through investigator after investigator. And not only that, but it's gone from note-taking to word processors to floppy disks to software to computerized type things. So maybe you gave them information years ago, but you might want to check and give them that information again to make sure they still have it. And here's a John Doe that was found in 1974. The estimated date of death is unknown. The cause of death is unknown. They were found 15 minutes, 6 miles away from where he went missing. But it says they were 5 foot 7 or 5 foot 9 and he's 5 foot 10. Um, they do have the DNA available and some of the clothes. A description of some of the clothes. I don't see sizes. I, I don't see sizes when people go missing, and but sometimes we see sizes when they find the John Doe's. And then we have this one was found in 1975. It just says a year's prior possible homicide, 18 to 50 years old, found in Clackamas County, Oregon. They do have DNA available as that with that one as well. And that one was an hour and 18 minutes away from where he went missing. And they were found in Mount Hood National Forest. So, there's that information. They believe that he was killed and dumped at that location, whoever he was. And there was another gentleman that, that I just did a, um, video on Stephen Paul Lamb and I feel like some of these could fit his they might fit his description as well you know thinking about it now these John Doe's and then we have one in Coos County Oregon found in 1983 and they believed he died between 1965 and 1983 and he was 5'8 to 5'10 18 to 30 years old and they found a book biting that was with a 1965 date on it. But I don't know because I read a lot of older books. So most of the books that I read are not from this year. Let's see. And that one's further away. That one would be four hours and 21 minutes away. And then doing a name of search, we have uh, John Doe in Needles, California. That was found age 20 to 40 years old. Um, months though they were they were they died probably in 1968 see that was months before um, and there's information on that and like I said some of these could probably fit as well with um, Stephen Paul Lamb who also who went missing he went missing a senior skip day in May 11th, 1968. And then we have this one found in Broderick, California, 18 to 99 years old. So that could fit any number of people. Estimated year of death, 1969 to 1970. So there's the information on that one as well. And these I didn't go through to look to see if there's somebody else in that area that might, at that time, that might be more likely to be the John Doe. I just went through and did a name of search. And this one was found in Ventura County, California in June of 1970. 
died 1969 to 1970 is their estimated date of death. So... And there's, you can pause this and read that information if you like. But there's this John Doe as well. And then we have this one found in Lake County, Colorado in 1970. Um, 18 to 30 years old. 5 foot 7 only though. Died 1969 to 1970. I really had a hard time trying to fit find anybody that fit his description. I'm wondering if it's someone that didn't get reported missing. So there's the information on that. Or it's just not. Maybe they aren't reported missing on the Doe Network and they're on the NamUs and I should probably do more searches that way. This one was found in Whittier County which is, you know, near um, Anaheim. Ages 20 to 30, about 5 foot 10, 1969 to 1970. Um, brown hair though. But sometimes people have blonde hair and as they get older it gets darker. So I never know which ones got darker and which ones didn't. Because somebody will consider it blonde and somebody else will consider it like sandy blonde. And somebody else will consider it like brown and... So I try to leave those in there now that I realize that. So if you have any information about what happened to this young man, please give it to investigators. And like I said, maybe you gave it to him years before, but you're not sure if they still have it. Maybe you didn't feel like it was relevant. Maybe you know who they hung out with, where they hung out, what such clothes and shoes they wore, um, who they spent their time with, or you know any other information that you may have given them. Or maybe you knew where they were when they went missing. Anyway, um, don't forget to pray for his loved ones and his family. And please feel free to leave comments and have a great day. Bye-bye.